this is Rushali and you are watching Rishu Rajpal's YouTube channel. In one of my previous video, I explained the importance of paper solving. Means how solving the paper helps you to score good marks in your exam. I have explained in detail how this paper solving helps. If you have not yet watched that video, you can check that link is shared in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the maths paper pattern. Most of the students, they find math subject as a very difficult subject. I don't know why. But if you check the paper pattern of mathematics, it's very easy. It's very easy to pass in maths. Yes, it's not at all difficult to get passing marks in maths. How? I will explain. And to know all these things, you will have to watch this video till end. Please don't skip this video in between. See, if you want the good result, okay, if you want the best result, you have to study all the things properly. You should know all the things properly. And to know all the things properly, you have to watch such informative videos till end. So, please don't skip this video in between. So, after watching this video, I am sure that you will get the confidence. Yes, at least I am not going to fail in maths. Passing is not at all difficult. So, before I tell you something about this maths paper, I would like to request all of you that please check whether you have subscribed this channel or no. If you have not yet subscribed, please do press the subscribe button. And please don't keep such useful information only up to you. Kindly share this among your friends. So, hope by this time all of you have subscribed our channel. So, let's start with the maths paper pattern. First of all, this maths paper is of 80 marks. Yes, all the papers are of 80 marks except English. English subject is of 100 marks. So here, how these 80 marks are distributed? If you check the paper pattern properly, first we have choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. Here we have 8 questions which carries 8 marks. Means 1 mark for each question. So 8 marks are reserved for choose the correct answer for 8 question. Next comes Again, 8 questions which carries 8 marks. Means 1 mark for each question. Here, some simple questions are given for which you have to write just simple answer. As the questions carries 1 mark, obviously the questions are quite simple. Next comes 8 questions for 16 marks. Means here each question carries 2 marks. Now here as this each question is going to give you 2 marks, Little bit solving, few steps will be involved in this sums. Next comes 9 questions of 3 marks, means 27 marks. Here one question carries 3 marks. Now here as these questions are going to give you 3 marks, the questions are going to be little bit lengthy, little bit twisted, little bit complicated. But everything is going to be from your syllabus. There is no question which is going to be out of the syllabus. Means there will be no question which is not related to your subject. So now next comes 4 marks questions. Here in this paper you will have 4 questions of 4 marks each. Means these questions will give you 16 marks. Now again here as these questions are going to give you 4 marks. It's of course going to be Again, little bit complicated. Not exact. we can't say exactly complicated, but of course you will have to spend a little bit more time to solve this 4 marks question. And at last, we have one question of 5 marks. We have one question of 5 marks. Now the paper pattern is quite clear. Choose the correct answer, 8 questions, 1 marks, 8 questions, 2 marks, 8 questions, 3 marks, 9 questions, 4 marks, 4 questions, and 5 marks only one question. Now you will say okay 80 marks. We know that maths paper is of 80 marks. But how to pass in mathematics? Let me make these things more clear now. Here as I said in the beginning passing is not at all difficult. Because here few questions are fixed. Yes. Now if you know that we have to study only this and we are going to pass. Isn't it quite interesting? Yes, there are some fixed questions. Now, I will tell you what are those fixed questions. Now, the first thing. 
they ask two theorems two theorems are compulsorily asked in maths paper now even in this theorem i'll tell you the theorems in order means first preference second preference third preference in that way pythagoras theorem most important theorem pythagoras theorem then next comes the theorem from circles prove that the tangents drawn from the external point to the circle are equal so this is the second theorem then third theorem is of the areas of similar triangles prove that the areas of similar triangles is proportional to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides so this areas of similar triangles theorem is also important and the next comes bpt basic proportionality theorem so from these four theorems two theorems are of course going to be there in your paper and these theorems are going to give you 7 to 8 marks yes 7 to 8 marks you are going to get only if you study these four theorems happy okay now let me tell you few more things now the next part which is fixed is graph yes two graphs now these graphs are going to give you 7 marks one graph is asked for 3 marks and one graph is asked for 4 marks so graph is going to give you 7 marks one graph is from statistic that is the ogiev curve less than and more than type so this one is fixed question draw the ogiev curve and the next graphical question is solve the given simultaneous linear equations by graphical method yes so these two questions are fixed so if you just practice few examples of simultaneous linear equations by graphical method and even here uh, what we find is the equations what they give in the paper they are not too complicated they are quite easy so please practice few equations draw graph and all of that so here these two questions you can easily solve then the next comes constructions even constructions gives you 7 marks here one construction is of tangents and one construction is of similar triangles now even in tangents there are only two simple types they give you the radius you have to draw one circle of one particular radius they give the distance of the point which is at so and so distance from the center and you have to draw the two tangents from that external point or or they give the angle between the tangents both the constructions are quite easy just practice this two or three types of the construction you will definitely get full marks in this constructions question so now so many questions i told you few more are there now the next question is statistic find mean median mode find either mean find median or mode one question is fixed on this and i personally suggest my students okay i personally suggest my students that if you come across the question of mode find mode go for that because the steps involved in finding mode are quite easier compared to the the method of finding median and mean so i always suggest students that if you have the question like find mode for the following data go for that it's very easy one question is fixed on this statistic find mean median or mode then one more question which is uh, fixed is statement for one mark statements means like uh, state pythagoras theorem or state bpt in most of the paper we find at least one among this or sometimes we find in one mark we find state bpt and for five marks we find state and prove pythagoras theorem so wherever you come across like this important statement just by heart that and you can easily get that mark so up to here what we have discussed is of 30 marks see now scoring 30 marks is not at all difficult i have told you the question paper of 30 marks in this video so scoring 30 marks is not at all difficult and as i said paper is of 80 marks so what about that remaining 20 marks this 20 marks are internal marks your school teachers your school teachers gives you the marks out of 
which are based on your school test whatever test they conduct in school all the uh, fa exams what are conducted in schools and some activities and all what they ask you to do so depending on that these marks are given by your school teachers and most of the students they score very good marks out of this 20 so even if your teacher gives you 15 marks chalo, out of 20 if she gives you 15 marks and if you study this syllabus of 30 marks what i have explained in this video so scoring 45 marks is not at all difficult see if you study only this much you will easily get 45 marks in your maths paper okay apart from this one more thing i'll tell you now if you still observe your maths paper properly we find so many questions which are directly based on formula yes directly there is no complication no ulta pulta method nothing no twisting nothing is there in that straight way we have to use this simple formula and we have to find the answer uh, for example they give the coordinates of two points coordinates of a are 3 and 4 coordinates of b are minus 2 and 5 find the distance between a and b so simple it is straight way use distance formula and just get the answer or uh, area of the triangle they give the coordinates of the three vertices of the triangle find the area of the triangle even this is the sum which is directly based on the formula or even we find few sums which are directly based on the formula of uh, surface area and volume or uh, as i said even statistics questions are based directly on the formula there are few sums which are based directly on the formula of ap so here as i said don't confuse yourself don't get tensed by any subject if you study that properly if you study that subject systematically getting good marks is not at all difficult so here i think this video will definitely help you to get rid of the fear of your maths paper hope now the pattern is quite clear to you apart from this if you have any queries any doubts Rushiraj Classes YouTube channel is always there to help you. So you can drop your queries in our comment box. We will definitely come with the solution of that in our upcoming videos. So my dear students, as I said, share this video among your friends. Let this video help maximum number of students. And those who have watched this video till end, definitely you are going to get best marks in your math subject this time. So thank you so much for watching this video.